app compat gives you a consistent base for your Android app built on the principles of material design. But material design is a lot more than adding a toolbar and some accent colors. For everything else, there's the design library. The design library provides many of the high level components you'll need to build a great app that feels at home with material design. So what do you get? A text input layout for adding floating labels and errors to edit text. Floating action button for the primary action in your interface. Snack bars for quick feedback messages with an optional action. Material design compliant tabs. A navigation view for building your navigation drawer menu items, plus a lot of work specifically around motion and scrolling. All this back through API 7. Text input layer wraps and edit text, providing always visible hint text and a convenient way of showing air text via the set air method. Floating action buttons are ideal for that primary action in your UI. The design library's floating action button supports both a default size as well as a mini size, useful for when the floating action button needs to match with other elements. Snack bars are a new way to provide lightweight feedback to your users. Unlike toast messages, snack bars are an interactive part of your UI, allowing you to add an optional action or allow the user to swipe to dismiss the snack bar. This makes snack bars very useful around potentially destructive operations. A quick undo action can save a lot of headache while providing a far better experience than confirmation dialogues. Tabs have always been a common pattern on Android, both as top-level navigation for your app and for grouping content within your app. The design library's tab layout supports fixed tabs where each view's width is split equally between tabs suitable if you only have a few important tabs, as well as sporting scrollable tabs, where you have a large number of tabs. We've made it easy to attach your tab layout to a view pager, keeping your tabs and pages content in sync. Just make sure your pager adapter overrides get page title, and then call set up with view pager to tie everything together. An alternative to using tabs as your top level navigation is the navigation drawer a slide-out pane which offers navigation between different parts of your app. Navigation view gives you a perfectly styled drawer. You just provide the header, and then you can add navigation items programmatically or via a menu resource file. The simplest drawer menus will have a group of checkable menu items using the checkable behavior equals single attribute. This ensures that the checked items will appear highlighted in the navigation view. Support for subheaders using subviews is also available. That takes care of a lot of the visuals of material design. What about the motion side of material design? Coordinated motion is critical to a great experience. That's why the design library is introducing coordinator layout. Coordinator layout is a new layout that allows children to declare a behavior, giving them extra controls around touch events and the ability to build dependencies between views. A great example of this is when you use coordinator layout with a floating action button and then show a snack bar. The default behavior for these components allow the floating action button to automatically move up as the snack bar animates onto the screen, ensuring the components don't overlap without you writing any code at all. A major focus for coordinator layout in this initial release is around enabling your app bar to react to your main content scrolling. By wrapping your toolbar and other views, such as tab layout, in an app bar layout, you'll gain access to special control flags, allowing you to annotate each component as something that scrolls off the screen, stays pinned to the top of the screen, or even returns immediately when you downward scroll, making implementing a quick return pattern just a few lines of XML. No custom synchronized scrolling code needed. You can take things even further by using a collapsing toolbar layout. This allows an extended height toolbar to grow and shrink its title text size as it collapses, pin elements to the top of the collapsing toolbar, parallax images, and even add a full bleed scrim color once it becomes collapsed. Again, just a few lines of XML, and that's all you'll need. Getting started with the design library is easy. It's just a single dependency to add. With AppCompat as the base and the components provided by the design library on top of it, there's no better time to get started building great material design apps. We've only touched on the features in the design library. You can learn even more about the design library in the blog post and on the developer site. I'm looking forward to your great material design apps. <laughs>